guys, so in today's video, I have the new Light Elegance 2018 Fall Collection called Under the Big Top. So I'm going to swatch these, I'm going to give you my opinions on them, and I'm also going to compare some colors to any colors that I have in my collection that I think are comparable. So let's dive in! our colors from the collection we're gonna start with these first and we'll save the glitters for last you know best for last right kind of like our grand finale so let's start with bearded lady Ooh, this is like, I kid you not, chocolate, like, just melted chocolate right there. So, we're going to give it a stir. Look at that. Okay, so let's put on our second coat. <laughs> that. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and cure this. So I grabbed a couple colors here from my collection that I thought we could compare. I actually don't have too many browns, so... I also grabbed some clear jelly stamper colors. So I grabbed Do the Mocha Polka by Light Elegance, and here's our Bearded Lady. This one's very, very light compared to the Bearded Lady. This is Espresso Yourself by Light Elegance, and then our Bearded Lady, and Espresso Yourself is very dark compared to the Bearded Lady. So here we have our lineup with th the three colors, and it sits in the middle between the two. So that's really, really cool. It'd be really good for doing ombres or marbling. When you really want to have those different shades together, this will work really good. Okay, and then this is our clear jelly stamp or color that I grabbed to compare. I thought it would be spot on, but this one's actually darker. And it reminds me more of coffee rather than chocolate. And then this is the other brown that I grabbed. I'm sorry, I don't have the numbers on these. The stickers fell off. But this one's actually way lighter. Ooh. This mm. is interesting. Oh, come on. Okay, so it's a very muddy, like, evergreen forest type of color. I'm going to grab some colors here that I think will be comparable. Okay, so I grabbed G.I. Jane, which is one of my favorites for fall with our hunters. So if you look at them together, G.I. Jane looks more of a muddier color, which makes it a lighter green compared to, compared, compared to, wow, compared to the Ringmaster. And then if we set those down there, if I grab Don't Be Late, it actually looks like it sits on this end of the spectrum. So it's darker and it doesn't have that muddy, cloudy look like these other guys have. So if we look here. See what I mean? Like it just looks more glossy in a sense. It doesn't have so much of a white base. Gotcha. 
professor. Oh. It's a really nice raspberry color, you guys. I like it, actually. Which is weird, because I don't like pink. Um, this does remind me of a color that I do have. It's coming up on my camera a little bit more orangey than it should. But it's a really, really nice raspberry, you guys. So this is an old one. You can't get it anymore. But I thought this color reminded me exactly of designer purses. So let's see. Oh, I was totally wrong. <laughs> very, very wrong. This one reminds me more of Starlet, and if we grab that one, even then it's not comparable. Starlet looks more purple compared to these. So this is, yeah, nothing compares to this. Mm -hmm. actually went on really really nice okay I'm gonna cure this okay so here we have come one come all very interested to see this one in person huh it's like a purplish gray kind of color like a mauvey meets taupe I know my clients are going to love it, but me personally, I'm not a huge fan of these kinds of colors. They just, I don't know, they draw out my skin tone, I think. Drown it out, I mean. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and swatch this. I don't think I really have anything in my collection to compare this to. Maybe except for Goddess, but it's too much of a pearl. So I just looked through my collection and I definitely do not have anything at all that compares to this color. So yeah, this is a very unique color to my collection. So I am super excited for this one. It's showtime. Well, let's see what it has to show us. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is not what I was expecting. I know I've seen some videos, but wow. This is my favorite one, I think, so far. Look at this. It's such a beautiful, sparkly, metallic champagne color. It's beautiful. Look at that. So here's doll face and then here's it showtime and this one is way more pink than it's showtime and then I also grabbed under the veil because I thought they'd be similar but this one is a lot more of a lighter peach like a peachy tan and this, yeah, this is like a true champagne color comparing to what I pulled out. This color is going to be replacing doll face this year, I think. And I use doll face so much. I think this is going to be the new hit, guys. I really do. Here's main attraction. Now, I can tell you right now, my clients are going to go nuts for this one because purple is the number one color that my clients go to. Let's try and open it. <laughs> there we go. Oh my goodness, yes, they are going to go nuts for this color. 
So it does remind me of a very dark kind of plum, eggplanty color. It's so pretty, you guys. Oh, I hope you can see the shimmer in it. Let's give this one a stir. And I'll show you how nice it is. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I'm in love. I would never personally wear something this dark, but like I said, my purple girls are going to just love this. Daddy? So pretty. First of our glitters, we got Snake Charmer here. Let's take a peek. So we have a black base with a whole bunch of blues and greens. Super pretty. I just want to apologize in advance for not comparing any of the glitters. My camera was running out of memory, so it was just hustle and crunch to get this recorded for you guys. Look at it twinkle and it's not even focused. There we go. So here's Daredevil, and this one just screams autumn. I definitely have nothing to compare. I mean, we have Joan Crawford, but I can tell you right now, it's just not the same. <laughs> Here's Fire Breather. Ooh, this is really pretty. This is really good for fall. It's got some red, some gold and yellow. This is really nice. So shiny. And last one, clowning around. Which one of these colors is your guys' favorites? Does this collection scream out to you? 
What do you guys think? I want to hear your opinion. I know personally, I really love It's Showtime. And I've already used it a few times on my clients along with Smoke and Mirrors. And they love it. Jester is super pretty. I used that on a client too. I will insert pictures here at the end of what I've done with it so far. So I go, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, thanks. P.S. I think this was a really great fall collection. Again, well done, Light Elegance. You get me every year with your fall collections. I just love them. And I hope you guys do too. I thought this was a really unique collection. I didn't have nothing that directly compared to the colors in it. So thanks for joining me in this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media. Until next time, bye!